for joining me. This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot, and my name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader, and this is going to be the reading for Aquarius for January 1st through the 15th. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the cross watcher, because you know how we do here. We're just sliding on into 2020. Yes, whole new juju. I'm so excited for it. Uh, if it's your first time coming to my channel, uh, thank you so much for coming here and clicking on this video and welcome to the Tarot Dome. That's what we call it around here. We call it the Tarot Dome. And if it's not your first time and you fam, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate your love, your support, your likes, your subscribes, all that great stuff. Thank you for making the back end of my 2019 great because trust me, the front end was hectic. All right. So guys, um, like I said before, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Some of the messages may resonate. Some of the messages may not resonate. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Okay. If none of the messages resonate, please check your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs because sometimes those are the vibe you're in. I get it because I'm a Leo, but I'm a Scorpio rising. And there are a lot of times, uh, for me in the last year that my Scorpio uh, energy was really, really like, I was really in Scorpionic energy. So all of those readings for me were really super powerful as opposed to my Leo. So uh, definitely check that. If none of the messages resonate for you, I may not be a reader. That's perfectly fine. There are a lot of amazing readers that are here on YouTube that you can go ahead. Aquarius, I pulled from the Work Your Light deck and the first card that came out was no. <laughs> I almost feel very much like this is a tower thing that's going to happen We're here within the next two weeks, uh, January 1st through the 15th, okay? It says no. Wait, postpone, pause, say no. I almost feel like you're going to get an offer or something, there's something here. It's leading up to something that you may not have known about. Um, by the time you find out what this is, it could have been, it almost feels like an offer coming through. Um, and it's like spirit is saying, wait, use your intuition in this situation. Say no right now. Pause. Give this some time to play out. I feel like there's something here that you might not know about behind the scenes. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Okay. The other card that you guys got uh, for the first two weeks here in January, don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So I feel like spirit is trying to say here to you, Aquarius, you know, don't dumb yourself down. Don't try to fit in. Don't try to be cool. Don't try to stand out from the crowds, to, you know, by trying to fit in, if that makes any sense. Because sometimes we think, you know, being the cooler person, it, Fitting ourselves into sort of a box is a way to stand out, but that's not actually what makes us stand out. It's actually what makes us kind of fit in a little bit more. And Aquarius, you guys being so rebellious and so interesting and wild and against the grain, like just keep doing what you're doing. Don't conform to what anybody else, you know, thinks you should be doing with your life or your decisions or what you want to wear or wherever you want to go and who, you know, who you want to deal with and whatever projects you might be into. Okay. So basically do not dim your light to try to fit in with anybody because people will lead you astray and we all know this. We know it, but we don't follow it. Well, I'd like to be able to shuffle. All right. Thank you so much spirit. For this reading that we're about to do, I'm asking for your messages to come through for our beautiful Aquarians for January 1st through the 15th, please. The divine messages for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for their own highest good January 1st through the 15th, please? Interesting. A lot of your energy right away. Queen of Swords, the Star, and the Ten of Wands. Very interesting, Aquarius. It feels very much like you are feeling really good about yourself. I almost feel like you've had the blessing of coming through something, and you have literally uh, 
cut something out of your life. You've cut something out of your life. You're moving away from something that has felt very burdensome, but this feels very much to me like this is like a, a, a personal thing. This is like some sort of personal challenge you may have been facing. Uh, I just heard maybe the last couple of years. For some of you, it could just be the last year, okay? Messages for Aquarius, January 1st through the 15th. Oop. Wow, and a King of Swords, woo. Y'all, well, well, well. Okay. What other messages do we have here? Oh, my, my. Yes. Aquarius, wow, this feels so strongly like some of you are wrapping up. Um wrapping up a lot of a lot of things uh that happened for you in 2019 especially with this king of swords like you guys have an ending to something um an ending and a new beginning here with that 10 okay that 10 of wands this is the it, like energetically wands is energy it's moving forward it's actually action okay whereas something like a, a cup is more like an emotion or a feeling okay you guys are actually taking action to what feels like move toward your happiness being more delegatory cutting people out cutting things out there's a lot of this like cutting thing that i'm getting here um you also have the five of swords so i almost feel like It's as if some of you, um, it's as if some of you are turning your back on some people, okay, or like some, some negative people, people who cause issues, people who cause a lot of problems for you, okay. You then have the four of swords. So this is for me that where this is rest and recuperation after going through some dramatic stuff here. Okay. You might've had, uh, you know, some, some arguments or something like that recently with somebody, or maybe just a vibe. It feels like a vibe altogether. This feels very much like it has everything to do with you though. Um, it's almost like turning your back on something that like something within your your own personality that had to do with you being a cutting person if that makes any sense okay with all the swords that are out here it's very like it's very um air energy okay so it's very much your energy plus you have your star card out too you have your aquarius here okay uh it feels almost like there's something about yourself that you are leaving behind. And this feels difficult because it almost feels attached to who you are as a person. Like uh, maybe you've been telling yourself like, well, that's just who I am, you know. But the thing is, is that we, we really are not who we think we are <laughs> in a sense. The ego tells us we think we know who we are, okay. But this feels more like you did this and now there's this like this rest and this contemplation. There's still the sword there. You haven't lost yourself, so to speak. OK, you're still there, but the energy of this has changed. OK, it's changed more into this king of wands. So this person who might have been more laid back, not really doing, you know what I mean? Like, meh is now becoming this person who's taking action not just not just when it comes to like your your personal being and changes within your personal being but it feels like in your life like you're 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 beginning this new journey and I know that it's not a page okay for those of you who know the cards I know that it's not a page but this feels like a new beginning for you in the sense that like you've grown as a person you're not this kind of like spiteful you know know-it-all um somebody who's 
could be really aloof. You're moving more into this like fiery energy of, of person, somebody who's more passionate, somebody who's willing more to take action in their life to have happiness, okay? To have happiness because ultimately the sun is like, the rebirth, that's what it is. It feels almost like this rebirth, okay? Now, I have out the Page of Swords here next to this, um, and, and it almost feels very much like the new Aquarius, if that makes any sense, okay? And I know that the Page of Swords can very much be gossip and, and things like that, okay? There are two, <laughs> two or more readings here. Because I, I can see how this could be a separation from somebody as well. The Queen of Swords being one person and the star being your energy, okay? Walking away from something uh, that felt very much like it was some sort of blessing to you. Um, and, you know, taking a stand for yourself in a sense, like taking a stand for yourself, maybe even arguing with this person taking the time to rest and recuperate and moving into a new energy, which brings you the sun, okay? This is, you know, Leo, it's fire energy. Uh, and there could be people talking about this. They could, there could be people talking about the situation that you walked away from too, because this is very much like chatty Cathy's out here talking trizash, okay? So I do also see a situation like that. But if we're, if we're talking... If we're talking about you guys on a deeper level, I'm feeling like this is a very transforming energy, okay? You might have started out 2019 feeling, you know, like ready to go in a sense, but it feels more like you guys work very hard at putting some things behind you that had very much to do with your personality uh, or beliefs that maybe you had about who you think you are, okay? Uh, and moving into a new energy of somebody who's ready to like live passionately, take action, who's not afraid of being happy now. They're not afraid of being happy now and setting out on a new journey. There's very much a lot of Aquarius energy. There's a lot of like uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. So, um, and what's interesting about those two energies is that they balance themselves out really well because uh, it's like, they're, they're opposites in a sense. They're opposites in a sense. So um, where, <clears throat> where air energy is like, you know, can be very stagnant and not moving, you know, fire energy is just kind of always going and it's fed off of air. They kind of complement each other in a sense, okay? So what I want to know is why this Page of Swords is here. What's the Page of Swords about? Why is the Page of Swords here? Oh, interesting. Wow. I got, I got three cards out, and they are Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Tower. Wow. So this is crazy. This feels very much like it's like an emotion, like you have this new emotional, beautiful beginning, these new ideas, these new blessings, you're giving your cup to somebody, but the tower doesn't feel like, you know how this guy's falling out of the tower there? It doesn't feel like a massive destruction. What it feels like is a breaking down of the concept that you guys had of love here and you're getting that here in January. The concept or the ideas of the way you thought you need to live your life uh, the, 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 um, and it's almost like a blessing. It feels almost like a release. Like there's a mental release of something here, uh, that kind of almost allows you the space to really like feel and be more emotional instead of very like pragmatic. And, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, aloof you know, passive, like, meh, whatever, you know, withdrawn. Okay. This is, uh, this is like energy of like breaking down the construct that you already have. It's, it's, it's 
destroying the old foundation. That's how I feel like you guys are coming into these first couple of weeks of January. It's like you worked really hard. It was it was challenging. You had to separate yourself. You had, you know, you had to be the king. You had to separate yourself. You had to cut people off. You had to do certain stuff. It was not easy for you to do, but ultimately what you wanted was your own happiness. That's what you guys are chasing here in the beginning of 2020. That's what I feel really strongly. It's like a new journey. Like I said, even though this is a page of swords and it means a lot of things to a lot of people, it's still a page. It's young energy. It can represent a child. It almost feels childlike to me right now. Even in saying this, it's like coming through is like, it's like that childhood beginning discovery, you know, new ideas and new ways of thinking and you know, with this Ace of Swords, it's like this beautiful new opportunity for something brand spanking new that has to do with your thought processes, um, love, you know, breaking down the foundation you built before um, and giving yourself an opportunity to bloom into something new. And that's really beautiful, guys. Wow, what a really powerful reading. I had no idea that was going to come out that way. Um so let me get an overall energy for these first two weeks here in January for you guys. And I never know how these readings are going to be, guys. Some days it's all like, Debbie Dunn did some dirt. And other days it's like this. It's really deep and it's really powerful. And um, a lot of the readings have been this way. You know, it's almost as if spirit is giving people like a New Year message, you know. I actually should have probably called these all New Year messages. So... All right, what's the overall energy for Aquarius 2020, January 1st through the 15th? Overall energy, please. Yes! Yeah, boo-boo, Ace of Cups. It's Ace of Cups. That's, that is blessings overflowing. That's new love. That's new. I just heard new purpose. It almost feels... Wow, like that's powerful and almost feels like this beautiful new purpose. Like I'm, I'm realizing that like love is my purpose, you know, on a deeper level, but this is new blessings. This is new love coming in, but I don't, I wouldn't necessarily say literally a new love, but this feels like a love for yourself, a love and appreciation for life, a love and appreciation for the work that you've done a love and appreciation for what's next for you. It's really, really super beautiful and super powerful, guys. Wow, that's the overall energy is like the cup overflowing. Mm, that's your 2020. Okay. Okay, Aquarius. I'm excited for you. All right, guys. Um, Let's get into a little bit of the chakra cards, okay? This is the... um. Psychic Tarot of the Heart, okay, but these are also chakra cards. I like these a lot because they tell us about some different energy that we may or may not be paying attention to, okay? And guys, all of the messages, when you listen to these readings, you know, some readings, like I said, are very much about literal situations, and other times spirit comes with messages that are important for your growth. So remember that. Keep that in mind when you're, you know, going around on YouTube, because what I think is everybody's like me. They, they listen to, you know, a few readings and stuff like that, because I know that... For me personally, I like to I like to know what it is I'm not paying attention to sometimes in my own spiritual life, you know. And this is a really beautiful reading. You guys are ready for something new and it's coming. It's definitely coming. It's definitely coming. You are wide open for blessings in January period in 2020. Spirit messages for Aquarius, January 1st to the 15th, please. Well, that was a whole chunk. I'm going to take it. I like to honor the cards that fall out. You know, I really do. All right, so I've got four cards here. Yes, yes, and yes. Wow, okay. So the first one is strengthening bonds. It's a number one. It's actually a root chakra, okay? Um, and this is really like 
foundation. That's exactly what it is. What we talked about with the tarot, with the tarot, with the tower card, it's foundational energy. So it's like, you know, coming into the new year, uh, having torn down or still tearing down in the process of tearing down the old foundation to strengthen the bonds for your new foundation. Look at all these trees and how they're blooming. You know, their roots are deep into the ground. It's very green. It's fertile. This is like your energy coming into January right now. It could also be very much strengthening bonds with a loved one, family, things like that as well. Since I do see her holding something, I can't tell if she's holding something or eating something, but it looks like she's holding something to me. So it's, it's very much like strengthening the bond within yourself, strengthening the bond with other people, kind of getting out of your, getting out of your shell a little bit in a different way, guys, but not all the way out of your shell, if that makes sense. All right. You got another one again, so a foundational. This is clarity belief. Remember I talked about beliefs around love um, and, and thoughts and ideas, things that you think about, like your programming, right? Like de de tearing down your programming, destructurizing. Is that even a word? I don't even know if that's a word. But anyway, a clarity belief, and you see the heart there, okay? Clarity of belief, getting clear about what it is that you believe about love. And again, goes with the foundation card because it's a one. This is all about going back to that structuring, that programming, maybe even some childhood energy here of things that you developed. And you see here it has the... It has the uh, butterfly. That's definitely the creature of transformation. So something here in the beginning of January is transforming with this belief system that you've had around love, uh, maybe about who you are, ideas about love, life, um, what you think relationships are all about. Uh, and I think I was, list I was listening to something that said, this energy this month has to do with the seventh house and the 11th house. And so it's centered around relationships. Okay. And it's not just relationships with people, it's relationships with ourselves. And that's the energy I'm feeling here a lot for you guys. Got the third eye chakra. It's a six. Guess what that is? Balance. So balancing the third eye chakra, like not being too wide open and not being too closed off. I feel like there's a need for you guys to maybe open a little bit, open up the third eye chakra, or you're working on um, creating balance. Like, because sometimes you can get, uh, what do you call it, too imaginative, delusional, illusional, you know, see things in an illusionary way. And this could have to do something with your clarity of beliefs or your strength, your foundational stuff, okay? So maybe there's a little bit of like fantasy or something you might experience in spirit saying, get a balance, you know, get a balance of that. Uh, use your intuition to support you to know what is the fantasy uh, aspect or imagination aspect, uh, which is very Aquarian, you know, huge imagination and stuff like that uh, to support you. Okay. You've got the moving on card. What's great about this moving on card, um, some of you may be moving on from a, from a relationship, but this feels more like because it's the eight and it's the infinity and it's a spirit number, it's the number of spirit, it feels more like you're moving on, this energy is moving forward. Your heart may be moving on, like I said, from some beliefs. You could be moving on from a relationship that wasn't working for you or uh, maybe some past hurts or something like that, okay? Uh, but this is you. This is very much energy that's about Aquarius. I know we have a bunch of court cards out here, and a lot of times that represents other people. But in this, with so many swords and the energy that I'm getting, this is very much about your journey right now. And you choosing yourself and you loving yourself and you growing within yourself. Because I feel like you guys did a lot of work in 2019. I actually feel like everybody did a lot of work in 2019. It was all about like just destroy all of it, you know, so we can start with this great new uh, energy and beginning. And this feels like that moving on, like you're moving on from all the old stuff that's it's not going to exist for you anymore once we get into uh once we get far enough into 2020 and that's great energy guys that's beautiful 
like, yo, this reading's tight. You know what I'm saying? So let's see here. You know what? I got this lover's oracle and I'm dying to use it. My daughter picked it up for me for Christmas. I'm very excited about it. Let's see what you guys have uh, going on in the um, in the area of love from January 1st to the 15th for Aquarius spirit. What's the message that Aquarius needs to hear or know regarding love January 1st to the 15th? Okay, any other messages, please? From here, new. No. But I do also have the romance angels. So let's see if there's any messages here also for you guys, okay? And then we're gonna get some advice, all right? Oh, Aquarius, I love your reading. Y'all are stepping into your power. And that's why it says don't dim the fit in, remember? Don't dim the fit in. Screw everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody comes up, you know, uh, like I said, with this wait, postpone, pause, say no, it's like you could be headed towards something you don't you don't want to head toward with somebody maybe making you some sort of offer. So be careful with that, okay? Messages of love for Aquarius, January 1st to the 15th, please, of 2020. Any messages of love for Aquarius? Okay, that must be it. <laughs> All right. Okay, this could be the one. Oh, Aquarius. Ah, check it out. This could be the one. <laughs> All right, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So some of you Aquarius are already dealing with your one person. You're dealing with your person. Um, maybe you were looking for that person. Maybe you thought, mm, I met somebody in 2019 and we're moving into 2020 and I don't know if they're my person. Well, Spirit's saying that's your person. All right. So go with it. All right. And the other messages I have here say emotions are natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Wow. So Aquarius, maybe some of you have some resentments and that's why we've got so many swords up. Okay, because you guys can be really cold. Like Queen of Swords, King of Swords, this is cold energy. Five of Swords, like this is like cutting people off, like telling people go F themselves, that kind of energy, okay? But for me, it, like I said, it feels very much like and I'm done. We're not even, I'm not even talking to you anymore. I'm just blocking you. I'm not talking to you. I'm over it, okay? But here, clearly, there's something around resentment. So maybe some of you want to check into that kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Spirit, don't lie. All right. And this one says, when you pass from the world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So an important message for people who may think they, they can take it with them. You can't take it with them. You can't take it with you. What am I saying? You can't take it with them. You can't take it with you. So I just feel like it's a little reminder to, you know, be here now, know what's important, you know, know what's important in this time while you're alive now, while you're doing your thing now, you know, because the things that you work on now are the things that create what you get. You know, I'm a firm believer of that. What we do now, what the work we do now has everything to do with where we are when we leave this place, okay? So, um, you know, whatever, whoever or whatever that is for, that's definitely for you. So this has been a really, really beautiful reading. However, I want to know, like, what you can look forward to. Like, what, like, I know the overall energy is Ace of Cups, but I feel like I just want one more card to see, like, what you can really look forward to just overall in January. Just overall energy of January for you guys. I just feel like doing that. Overall energy for Aquarius. January, please. 
for the month of January 2020. I don't know why I cannot shuffle today. I don't know what's going on with me. Don't know what's going on. Overall energy for Aquarius in January. I got a bunch of jumpers. This again. Yes, Page of Wands. And for me, that's it's almost like the adventure. It's like the new adventure. That's what it feels like. A page of wands can be like a single person, they could be wild and crazy, but this feels like the wild new adventure to me. Like, like Aquarius, you're really like you're taking time to listen to the birds. You're just out here enjoying life, enjoying nature, like letting it all in, enjoying the experience. It's a young energy. Like I said before, um, you know, page of swords is like, is like a child, you know, a page of wands is the same thing. It's a young person. It's a young, fresh energy. Somebody who's feeling their inner child again, taking time to smell the roses. They're on a journey. You know what I'm saying? And it feels very much like that's January for you. Like you're, you're understanding this is like a new beginning. It's a passionate, fiery, fun, you know, lose some control and have a good time journey. That's very much what it feels like. Cause I feel like you freed up a lot of your energy in 2019. And if you haven't, you're, you're closing that out the next two weeks here and you're moving forward into something that's going to be spectacular. From what I think so guys this is your reading for the first two weeks of January Aquarius thank you so much for joining me I truly appreciate it if you like this video please go ahead and like this video and if you really like this video then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel I am always happy and excited and grateful to have new subscribers uh, and or subbies that's why they call you guys subbies uh, subscribers, I'll call you, um, and your support and your likes. I truly appreciate it, guys. I will be seeing you on January 15th with a reading to finish out the month, guys. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a beautiful beginning to 2020. Bye.